Hi, my name is Jim Gibson. I'm with the Dixon Data Company. We're back here in our demonstration area today and I'm going to show you a few ways to run our K thermal couple probes into freezers and refrigerators. Our demonstration today will take place on a household freezer refrigerator, which a lot of labs use, but you can also use this technique on walk-in freezers and walk-in coolers as well. The reason you'd want to use a probe model is if the temperatures are way too cold for electronics or if you're using our wireless product and you'd like that wireless signal to get out. The first product I'd like to show you is our SM320. This unit has a K thermal couple probe that will read the inside temperature of this freezer. We also make a unit with two probes that will read the freezer and the refrigerator on two separate channels. So the way I've seen it mounted in my experience is up top like here with two-way tape. We're using Velcro right now but you can use whatever tape you like. Uh, the reason it's mounted up top like this is because the digital display is easier to see on the eyes than if it were mounted lower. One of the more popular ways I've seen this K thermal couple wire ran into the freezer is right along the hinge side door right through the seal. Because the wire is so skinny it really won't affect the seal. If you just pull the wire through like this, then they come around here and run the unit right along the side. A little piece of packaging tape will hold that unit, this wire, and make sure that it doesn't affect any of your readings. Another product Dixon offers is our glycol bottle. The reason this product is used is to provide stability in our freezers and refrigerators. Uh, our K thermal couple reads the temperature from a small bead on the end of this probe, and when you open a freezer or you open a refrigerator, you get a large influx of airflow. Uh, so the reason this glycol is used is to eliminate that airflow. You easily just poke a hole in the top of this bottle, run your probe in, and then put the probe wherever you require. I'm putting it right here in the center, but it's always best to check with your auditor to see if it's a certain location that you need to monitor it at. I also see people, after taping the probe to the side, just wrap it around the cage here and wrap it over. This wire is very uh, pliable, so you can pretty much manipulate it whatever way you'd like. Although the seal looks like it is affected here, it actually is not affected whatsoever. The inner seal is doing a good job of keeping air from coming out of this seal. Although today I showed you the SM320, how to run that probe, this same method works for almost all of our data loggers that use the K-thermocouple probe. Our chart recorders, our touchscreen chart recorders, this unit, and even our wireless unit. Some of our chart recorders you can actually place inside of the refrigerator and require no probe, but for the ones that get too cold, the one with the probe is recommended. The next model I'll be showing you today is our wireless wizard model number WT230. This unit has a glycol bottle sealed and attached to it already, and it is uh, glued in there so there will be no leakage. This is used a lot in the food and beveraging industry. Uh, same technique with a two-way tape or Velcro tape right here on the side. And then we're also going to use the same technique of running the probe through the refrigerator hinge. You have to be careful though because this is a little thicker so you have to be pretty slick with it. Make sure not to crush it. Once you pull it through it's pretty much the same technique. You run the unit, you tape it to the sides, and you mount the bottle wherever you feel necessary. So that's about it about how to run your probes into freezers and refrigerators. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call or an email here at Dixon Data. Thanks.